Today we're putting the Psy in sirens as we explore the science behind emergency situations. Emergency services personnel are often working against the clock, but here's a scientist who's working against bacterial resistance. When we get sick or hurt ourselves, we are often prescribed medicine, like antibiotics. These medications treat a range of bacterial infections to help us get back on our feet. But what happens when the bacteria become resistant? Hi, I'm Katerina, and here at the University of Adelaide, we are developing a new treatment to stop nasty superbugs in their tracks. Superbugs are really dangerous, antibiotic-resistant bacteria that come in many different forms. They cause around 700,000 deaths worldwide each year and are predicted to cause many more in the years to come. We can see these superbugs in action by growing them in our lab. To do this, we place the bacteria on agar plates, treat the plates with discs containing different antibiotics and then leave them overnight. When we return, we can see a pretty clear difference. The bacteria that was susceptible to the antibiotics stopped growing, while the bacteria that was resistant to it grew around the disc, proving that the antibiotic was not effective. So how do bacteria become resistant to antibiotics in the first place? Bacteria live in biofilms, which are clusters of bacteria in a self-produced slime that acts like a protective shield. Over time, this biofilm promotes antibiotic resistance. It allows the bacteria to talk to each other, streamline their defense and exchange information about how to become resistant, which makes the bacteria cluster harder to kill. This phenomenon is really concerning, so we now try to outsmart these superbugs by targeting their preferred food, iron. Iron gives the bacteria energy to grow and cause disease. It also allows them to withstand attacks from our immune system and from antibiotics. But what will happen if we take the iron away and feed them a very different meal? We've developed a wound healing gel with antibacterial effects by adding two compounds. The first compound eats the iron around the bacteria, causing them to get really hungry. The second compound then mimics iron, but it's actually toxic, so when the bacteria eat it, they die. By using this double whammy approach, we've been able to defeat some superbugs in the lab and in animals like sheep. We are now gearing up to start human trials to investigate how effective this treatment really is and to see if it can work in the real world. <laughs>